In book no Roblox, you have common quirks, uncommon quirks, rare ones, and you keep on going until eventually you reach mythic quirks. And you'd think that the rarer the quirk, the better it is. And that's quite true, I mean, if a quirk was so rare, then why wouldn't it be good? But that only goes to a certain extent, because you see, there are some less rare quirks that are actually very powerful. And the best part about it is that, well, nobody knows about them. And there is one quirk in specific that this video is going to be about that quirk. Now, why would I make a video about such an easy quirk to get? Well, to begin, you guys have to understand that quirks, they're ranked on a few things. First of all, is their grinding. Leveling up is the most important thing in the game, so a quirk has to be a good grinding quirk the second thing is pvp if a quirk is not good at pvp then well you can't fight other players and that removes a lot of the aspect of the scheme and the third thing we're going to be looking at is how it performs in events and reads in reads and usually in events you have lots of npcs and bosses so a quirk has to be good at fighting these types of things i have all for one which is a legendary quirk it's good for reads and pvp but it's not the best for grinding so i guess it just depends on every person and what they want but the quirk i'm going to be showing you guys is an uncommon quirk quirk that's both excellent at grinding, reads, and in pvp. But of course you'd expect there to be a catch and there is a catch to this quirk. I mean yes it's an uncommon quirk so it's very easy to get. However you need to be smart to use this quirk. Like when I want to use all for one its moves are very straightforward. That's my Q move then my Z move right here and if I want to use my weapon I can just use a B and it launches or whatever that is. But the quirk I'm going to be showing you guys isn't as simple as that. And I think it's time to, well, tell you guys what this quirk is. This quirk is shock absorption. Now, you might be disappointed when I say that. However, if you keep watching until the end, you're going to realize how crazy this quirk is and nobody even knows about it. A lot of the people who score high on the leaderboard for reads, they abuse this quirk. So, of course, first of all, you just have to go get it. I only have about 500,000, but that should be enough. There we go. We finally got it. So, let's just spawn right here. And the reason I told you, ladies and gentlemen, that this quirk doesn't have good moves, you just have to be smart as well because it has literally no moves. As you guys can see on the screen right now, it only has the Z move and it's kind of, how do I say this? It's underwhelming. Nice. It's not really that useful and I've never seen myself in a situation where I need to use it. But if you look above that, you can see that the Q move is the real good stuff. 3.5 times damage reduction. That's a passive. Passive meaning that no matter what you do, no matter where you go, no matter what armor or weapon you have, it's going to be on at all times. Now, I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. That means that I could fight this boss right now and he's going to do pretty much no damage to me. My health is stuck at 100% and I have 20,000 durability, which is a lot but imagine if i had something like 30,000 or 35,000 but then a stronger boss like endeavor right here which i don't know what happened to his face anyways let me punch him and he does three percent damage to me five percent yeah he's 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 doing nothing but then i think you guys are forgetting something very vital about this i can put on armor now i can put on something like this like these gears which was from the jester event or the jester armor but i'm actually going to go for something way crazier this Pumpkin helmet right here. Minus 1.5 times damage per 10 durability. So just with 20,000 durability, that means if you do the calculations, I get 3,000 damage less. Okay, but then now just how do you use this quirk in grinding, in reads, or in PvP? Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, grinding with shock absorption is very easy. You can just stand still and you will get levels while you're doing absolutely nothing. To do that, you have to go to the weapon shop and you have to get yourself a dagger. Let me equip it right here. And if you guys don't know where the weapon shop is, you just have to go behind the All Might statue this group of buildings and you will find it right here Hatsumi's workshop I'm not sure how much a dagger is but I don't think it's that expensive just grind for it after you get your dagger you have to keep in mind that most of your stats you want to put them into strength then after strength the rest you should put them to durability and you should have less stamina because you see slicing or slashing or whatever with the dagger doesn't really use that much stamina so you can only have like 500 stamina and you'll be set forever after you do that you want to go to a boss that is fairly challenging to you but not completely impossible you simply want to click the boss and you want to defeat him and basically what you're doing you're going to be tanking the damage so that every time he damages you you don't get damaged that much and every time you level up your health bar is going to go to 100 and because it's going to get tiring what you do want to do you want to grab yourself an auto clicker if you just set the key point and you set the milliseconds to one and you can just minimize it right there doing this will make it so that it is clicking without you even touching your mouse what is isn't allowed however is afk grinding so you want to stay beside your device at all times but i'm going to go to the hardest boss in the game just so you guys know so you guys would know what it's like if the boss is like 
fairly challenging and not just an easy one. So you guys know that this actually works. But it's all from one of the strongest boss in the game right here. I can just sit down here and have my auto clicker on and right there within three seconds he's dead. And you see I do get damaged but because I'm level 15,000 I don't actually get my health back when I level up because well I'm the max level. But if I wasn't max level I would be basically impossible to kill. And actually grinding this boss with shock absorption was actually the main method that I used to get to max level. So trust me this quirk is the best quirk for grinding. And the for PvP and the for PvP the trick to this quirk is actually using event weapons. I'm not the best at PvP but to my knowledge you have all these event weapons that shoot projectiles and have a large area of effect. If you use them and you pair them with a good enough armor the trick is to keep moving and to keep dodging while while eventually hitting the player. That isn't the player but yeah. And you can always experiment with different weapons and different things and this quirk is mainly good for events and reads and grinding and it's still good for PvP but it's not the special thing about it. Like you know it's not the main agenda for this quirk so I'm not going to go over a lot of PvP or test it out in PvP in this video. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys can see just how underrated this quirk is. It's definitely in my top three because of what it can do. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one.